this is my kitchen island as you can see it needs a lot of loving it needs a lot of attention and it needs a whole lot of something that's not this so come along with me today as I tear down this old wallpaper it was long overdue and replace it with this beautiful beautiful bright and white wallpaper that I think will be so beautiful throughout all seasons also come with me as I use new tools and do things that I have never done by myself and including using a nail gun that to me is a big deal so come along with me as I transform my island looking from something boring and bland and kind of outdated into something completely different and beautiful Okay, let me show you what I'm working with. So, this is my island. My husband actually built this for me. It was not at this apartment. And all it is basically is two cabinets, two sets of cabinets that we got from Home Depot. You know, nothing fancy. We got a butcher block. We put that on top. And then for added support, he went ahead and added some brackets over here so it has been serving us amazingly um yeah we have six of us living here not the biggest kitchen in the world so this is great for extra counter space and it is great for extra storage i mean hello but since these are two cabinets this is what happens 90 percent of the time so you know the island shifts a little bit left and right it cracks right here in the middle and you know this is where the seam is between the two cabinets and well when i sweep the floors or mop the floors i touch the wallpaper it kind of comes off and it's just not a pretty situation so what i want to do today is take off this wallpaper put some beautiful new wallpaper on it as well as some boards i think it'll be the cherry on top and it will prevent it from cracking in the middle in the seams and on the bottom but not only that i had my kiddos over here painting their nails and you know stuff happened and if you're wondering um, my daughter was painting her toenails right here so you can imagine how that was that was <laughs> so there is um nail polish i need to get off i want to try i tried using all the natural stuff and it just wasn't working so i'm gonna take a nail polish remover get that working as well as my chairs over here so you know nail polish everywhere this is clean there's just nail polish all over it so the first thing i'm gonna do is start by cleaning this island in the chairs and then i'm gonna start by removing this wallpaper I am very happy to say that the nail polish did work my chairs are sparkling clean no nail polish on them as well as my island so that was great hopefully it didn't ruin the butcher block i mean it is sealed and whatnot but did not think about that beforehand but hopefully it'll be okay but now on to ripping out this wallpaper which i am so 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 excited for And let me say that I have had so many different wallpapers up on this island and you know from that crack in the middle you know the wallpaper always cracked and you know it was just time to kind of give it a more of a permanent solutions but from all the times that I've had wallpaper on this island this was probably the most hardest time 
it took to take off this wallpaper. I don't know if it was something to do with the brand or what, but this was a struggle. Okay, let me just say that I always have high goals and ambitions and I underestimate how long things are going to take me. So <laughs> I have put wallpaper on this island so many times and this is the first time it's difficult to take off. Like it comes off, you guys, it comes off. I just don't want to take that off because it comes off in a billion little pieces. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the brand or the company this wallpaper is from, but I swear the other ones just peeled right off this one's peeling off too but just in a billion little pieces so i am not gonna touch that i'm gonna cover that up with some wallpaper i know i don't know i'm just you know i have better things to do than sit here and pick out little pieces of wallpaper so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead hopefully this doesn't take me as long as this does so that way we can get the ball rolling All right, we have made progress 10,000 decades later. Um, she is finally clean. Oh my goodness, hooray. And I always have the greatest ideas, but you know, they don't come in on time. So I just had this idea, I'm like, why not use the scraper to scrape down the extra wallpaper? And it took me 0.2 seconds, okay? And I did this all by hand. So that's frustrating, but next time, this is gonna be a lifesaver. So. Let's go ahead, clean this all up, and then I'm going to show you the beautiful wallpaper we're putting on here, and then we're using some tools, you guys. I know. We're going to go on YouTube, we're going to search how to do stuff, and then we're going to do it ourselves. Okay, here are our ingredients. Of course, the start of the show is this beautiful wallpaper how pretty and i think it's gonna look beautiful throughout all seasons it's very neutral right up my alley but i'm gonna be using this thing it looks very intimidating and i have never used one before my husband's usually the one you know doing it all and you know what it is time to learn a new skill that way i can be an independent woman you know what i mean but i'm gonna take a little bit of time research how to use this bad boy I went ahead to Home Depot yesterday and picked up these trim. I don't know what they're called. The little, little boards right here, but if I measured correctly, it should be enough to make it go all the way around and then put one in the center. So that way we don't have any more cracking happening. And to cut that, I will be using this. And you guys, if you have a handsaw or a, a little shop outside, this will take you two seconds to cut, but I live on the third floor and I don't have a saw here in my apartment. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but it's gonna get done. So I'm really excited, a little bit of nervous, but hopefully it turns out okay. I have used this peel and stick wallpaper so many times in my apartment. I think this is just such a great way to umph up your space a little bit, your walls, your island, whatever it is. I feel like, you know, every time I take down this wallpaper, it doesn't leave any stickiness or residue and it's really easy to work with. It's literally like a big giant sticker, which is awesome. As you'll see here, I'll be pulling it up, fixing it up and it's just been so great. And Usually before I would be like super careful and picky how I do my edges on this island But today I'm not worrying about that because I am finally going to be adding some trim around this island So any imperfections that you will see on the bottom or the tops You won't be able to see because they will be covered up with trim
Now that the wallpaper is on the island, I just took some measurements and I'm starting off by cutting up the top and the bottom trim and you guys, my husband is usually the one that does the hands-on work behind all my makeovers or all my crazy ideas, but I just feel like it is, it's great to have that help, but then I also feel like it is so great to learn and master a new skill. That way, you don't have to be dependent on anybody, and not that being dependent on somebody is a bad thing, it's not, but I just feel like it's really awesome to be able to do things by yourself and it just makes you that much more proud of your work but yeah enough of that here i'm just measuring the boards that'll be going up and down on this island and cutting them to size and then we'll be using a nail gun to attach these boards onto the island and had to call my husband a couple times to be honest to figure out how to use this had to watch a couple youtube videos but in the end we got it done and it's not intimidating at all So after getting the hang of it, it was actually pretty easy. It looks intimidating at first and of course when you start doing something new it always seems hard and difficult but the more you do it, the more you get used to it, the more you do it correctly. So I'm really really happy for myself and very proud of myself for being able to stick through to this and I know if you guys are big DIYers this is like no big deal for you but as a beginner this is definitely worth a celebration. I am so stinking proud of myself like this work right here is a beautiful <laughs> but all jokes aside I did not measure right and I still have one more panel right here to add but you guys this looks amazing I am just so thrilled with how this turned out and it was intimidating at first but we got it done not done yet I am gonna quickly go ahead run to home depot get another trim to go on this side right here and i don't know maybe i want to add more i'm really undecisive but so far it is looking beautiful that I have made it back home I'm going to measure the last panel cut it down to size nail it back onto the island and that is as much as I'm doing here and I'm just so thrilled and so glad with the way everything came out it is pretty beginner so if you are a beginner also you can do this um, I think it looks beautiful. I'm really really glad with the way it looks. The last thing I'm gonna do is just quickly style the top of the island and I am pretty much finished. Now, 
just adding some final touches for the cherry on top and looking back I cannot believe it took me this long to do something about this island like I should have have put a trim around this island day one but it just never got done and now it is looking so beautiful so fresh so clean I am living for it if you guys enjoyed this video I hope you consider sticking around for more content like this and I will see you soon